We have heard the expression, sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. It sounds good, but it just isn't true. If a person was to call another a fool, in truth is just a verbalization, a simple vibration in the air. But what a cacophony of vibration it creates, throwing the physical and emotional body into total chaos, destroying all happiness and peace. You see, words and its meaning are linked by the most powerful force in the universe, which initiates all actions in the brain. And that is thought waves. When the word water is pronounced, the corresponding thought wave is energized and there's a visualization of the concept. The reverse is also true. When one sees water, the mental image gives rise to the corresponding verbal utterance, water. The relationship between words and meanings can be simple or complex. It all depends on the meaning behind the utterance and most importantly, the language. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in. All actions and reactions take place in the mind, which receives its information from the mental reservoir, appearing and arriving as thought waves to the brain. Something that you must begin to understand is that the mind is neither visible nor tangible. If it were, please show me the mind. I'll wait, for it does not exist in the physical body as does the brain, but in the etheric or spiritual plane. Its magnitude cannot be measured for it carries all feelings, ideas, and impressions from this life, as well as intuitive knowledge of what is to come. Things that happen in the physical world in which we abide is only a mirror of the inner workings of the mind in which we assume to be reality. Now, whether you accept it or not, the physical environment in which we live is only a projection of the mind. And since the mind is linked to thought waves, which are linked to language, then it stands to reason that it also links to your DNA as well. Many people don't know that our DNA is not only responsible for building our body, but it also serves as data storage for communication. Your DNA is actually composed of liquid crystalline substance that act as a form of antenna, receiver, and transmitter of holographic information, making each of you packets of quantum energy as part of all, constantly exchanging information to information daily. Did you know that your genetic code follows the same rules as all human languages? What that means is, if you compare the rules of how words are put together to form phrases or sentences, as well as the meanings in language forms and the basic rules of grammar, you will find that the alkaline pairs of our DNA follow a regular grammar that have set rules just like all other languages. For instance, in the American English language, instead of 26 letters, your DNA contains just four letters, A, T, C, and G which are combined in unique ways to three-letter words, or nucleotides, called codons. In turn, these codons or words can be put together to create sentences or genes. This genetic code is basically the language that cells use to read their DNA in order to translate their proteins to perform most of life's functions. This is confirmation that human language did not appear coincidentally but are a reflection of our inherent DNA, and thus each race has their own tone in which they speak in naturally. For example, original Africans spoke from their diaphragm, or heart center, with emotions, with what is called a raspy voice. Of course, with much mixing, this has changed. Asians originally spoke from their throats, or neck center, with what is called a choppy voice, with abrupt starts and stops. Of course, due to much mixing, this has also changed. And lastly, Caucasians speak from their nasal, the head seat, with high-pitched tones as that of a pipe. Of course, due to mixing, this has also changed. Researchers has explored the vibrational behavior of DNA, and they found out that living chromosomes function just like holographic computers. Using endogenous DNA laser radiation, they have managed to modulate specific frequency patterns onto laser rays and with it influence the DNA frequency and thus the genetic information itself. This tells us that the basic structure of DNA, alkaline pairs, and language is of the same construction 
And this also confirms that sound, like light, has a direct influence on the DNA. Meaning, not only anything that you see affects your DNA, but also anything that you hear affects it as well. And this is why each race has their own voice box tone that is different from all others. Each race have their own music that sounds different from all others. Each race even chant and pray in different tones. And that's because language is truly inherent. We are all made up of frequencies and have thus manifested in unique patterns of our own race and vocal tones. Now, this magnifies a great issue when it pertains to the so-called African race, who was stripped of their ancient language long ago and are now speaking other people's languages. Being descendants of the oldest race, this can only do harm to us because your language has to do with your vibration. Being the world's first people means that your vibration would be higher and so shall your language be in accordance with your DNA so that you can mind link like all others do. I constantly hear people say that black people cannot come together. Well, language is the key. So with that said, learn to speak your own language, Nuwapik, Misbatia, in your own tone and words for it is based on optical manifestation of sonic energy and blocks out all interferences of demonic tones. Vocalization and visualization equals manifestation. I'm Kef Ray, and this is Back to the Basic. Like, share, and subscribe. Facts we stated, you wanna know something, go back to basics Most saw a trap and was called the matrix The world fibbalized, yet it's hard to face it So I spread truth, hope you embrace it